Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is going to be uh, information. It's a, basically about a notification which came uh, for the post of project assistant in two very recognized IITs. Uh, one of them is IIT Kharagpur and the other one is in IIT Bhilai. So I'll be discussing about everything regarding this particular post. What are the things required? What are the necessary things? And what is the topic about? Uh, what's the eligibility? Everything I'm going to discuss within this video. So if you are interested in joining some project or if you are interested in doing some project in this particular field uh, you can do that by the way it's not only for chemistry it's also for biochemistry and all the stuffs related to that so i'll be discussing about each and everything in detail about both the posts so watch this video carefully watch it till end and one more request if you are new to this channel if you have not subscribed the channel yet please do consider subscribing it and now without wasting any time let's continue with our video All right, the first uh, notification which is there is from IIT Khadakpur and uh, I'll give you a link to reach out to this particular page. It's a page uh, based on your temporary jobs, whatever new post comes in IIT Khadakpur, they post it under this particular page. So you just have to scroll down a little bit and you have to go to this particular one over here which says Junior Research Fellowship Research. And the department is biotechnology, although the department is of biotechnology, but yet uh, the thing is required like based upon chemistry. So I'll give you the complete information here. If you click here, you'll get all the information about it. So the topic is HIT TB, that's the short form. The full form of it is post targeted immunomodulatory therapy for tuberculosis, okay, using bifunctional pro drug cons constituted drug loaded surface functionalized nano capsule so hiu that's the name in short it is given okay so this is the project title on which they want project assistant and you can see these are the reference numbers over here and the reference date is 31st of may 2021 uh, the position is for junior research fellowship that is for the research post and there is just one vacancy over here okay so there is just one vacancy for this particular post Consolidation and compensation which will be provided will be up to rupees 31,000 depending upon qualification and experiences. Now the thing is missing here, uh, like in the notification they have again written the thing. I think this 31,000 will be for the one which, uh, which satisfies a particular criteria of eligibility. That means if you are JRF qualified or if you are GATE qualified, in that case you will be getting this particular amount of fellowship. Otherwise the fellowship will be little reduced. They have not mentioned it. I think that's some problem in while making the notification or something because something is certainly missing over here. Okay. But yeah, 31,000 for those who have JRF or who have gate qualified, right? Coordinator is uh, Som Dev Bose Das Gupta. That's the name of professor over here. Department or a school of biotechnology. That's where you have to do this particular post. Qualifications which are needed over here is MSc in chemistry, right? So you should have MSc in chemistry or in biochemistry or in biophysics or in biotechnology or in molecular biology with BSc in chemistry. So if you have any of these uh, MSc in, in chemistry, biochemistry, biophysics, biotechnology, but the thing is that you should have BSc in chemistry, okay? That's, that's something which is required. Now, if you have all any of these, then you are eligible for this. Uh, academic credentials as per the institutional guidelines are required uh, should have a valid GATE score. That means at least GATE you should have qualified or must have qualified net DBT, ICMR, JRF or equivalent examination. So here you have to compete with the bio student also means the life science students as well. And if uh, you have qualified any of the JRF, let's say CSR net JRF or life sciences people give this DBT, JRF and ICMR, JRF. So that is for them. But for chemistry students, it's only GATE or CSR net JRF. So if you have qualified any of these exams, then you are eligible for this particular post. Uh, relevant experiences like what are their other experiences which are required? These are like knowledge of organic synthesis. Now, a chemist should have knowledge of organic chemistry, organic synthesis basically. Uh, synthesis and characterization of nanoparticles. If you have experience of this, then you will be given more priority. That's what it means. Uh, knowledge in the general biochemical and bio uh, like molecular biological techniques. Age limit on the date of advertisement should be like the upper age limit is 28 years. So if your age is 28 years uh, at the time of notification that is on 31st of May, in that case you will be eligible otherwise not. 
uh, relaxable age is also there up to five years in the case of if you are any belong to any of the reserved category in that case we will get a five year relaxation also to the female applicant this is re this relaxation will be given even for the uh, ph category student so apart from all these like for general boys general category boys the age limit is 28 years okay that's what it is apart from them for everyone a five year relaxation will be provided sponsor is dst dst means department of science and technology that's a ministry of like that comes under the government of india ministry of science and technology so it's a department which funds for this particular project right and uh, application deadline is 20th of june so you have to apply uh, before 20th of june okay the application fees is nil so it's a totally free form age limit as already told that it's 28 years so it's totally free form okay you have to just i'll give you the link of this page you have to just come here scroll down reach out to this particular again i'm showing you once again that you have to come down and here you have to see the dates okay application deadline date you can quickly find out with respect to this if you just come little downwards and here you will get in the date 20th you will see in that biotechnology this is the one okay junior research fellowship research dr professor uh, somdev bose das gupta so you can view here and you can now apply okay so in case if you if you are interested in this if you if you complete these eligibility criteria and if you want if you are interested in this work you can just click here to apply for this particular post now once you click that particular link you will be taken to another page where you can fill all these form now here there are three steps involved in order to apply for it step one will be your login that means will be provided with a login id and password step two will be fill in the online application form where your profile your academic details your experiences details all will be filled over there your scan photograph photograph and sign will be uploaded over there and the step three is to take out the print out of the application form after freezing uh, means after filling the online application form you will be able to generate a pdf document this is for your computer like basically that's what it is you will download the pdf you can view it in your computer and once you fill it you will be done okay and uh, if you want to if you are interested to discuss anything related to this particular notification if you have any doubts or anything related to that so you can mail to this particular email id all right so you can email to this id in order to uh, like do any inquiry regarding that okay so i think the things are much clear now in order to apply you have to first of all fill your email id and password i'm not doing that because i just don't want to register for it but in case if you are you just have to go to these two pages the next page will be where you have to apply all your details your profile details means your personal details your academic details your experience detail you have to upload your photograph you have to upload your signature and then you are done all right so this is how you have to do so once you are done you will be like one of the candidate for this particular post now they are going to shortlist your, the number of candidates and they may take interview as well so those things are like for the later on but yeah if you are interested in this particular post apply it before 20th of june all right so that's what it is so this was the this was for the post of project assistant in iit kharagpur one more notification came and that notification is in iit bhillai okay so if you go to the official page of iit bhillai i'll just show you that i'll give you a link to reach out to this official uh, like official advertisement directly okay i'll give you the link in the description you can directly go to that particular notification from the link given in the description of this video all right so let me show you that what are the things included here so yeah and this is from your iit bhillai now here the advertisement is for the post of project assistant in serb funded research project now just like DB, the pre previous one was dst funded this is serb funded serb dbt uh, ugc all are these different funding agencies for the different projects right okay so the application is invited for the international for the position of project assistant in the serb research project with the following details the title of the project is glucose responsive dna hydrogels for insulin delivery so that's the title of the project all right uh, who is the principal uh, investigator means under whom this particular project will be done so that is dr uh, suchetan pal who is assistant professor and all his detail is given in room number 306 department of chemistry iit village so all his details are given name of the project is project assistant okay so the position is of project assistant number of position is just one so there is just one position of this project assistant so if you in case you are interested in this then again you can apply for that qualifications let's look upon so qualification is msc in chemistry or nanotechnology or biotechnology okay so you can have msc in any of these three subjects or 
you can also like a BTech or BE student in biotechnology, nanotechnology or biomedical engineering or material sciences is also like is also eligible for this particular post. Now, uh, or any other equivalent degree with a minimum of 60% of aggregate score or 6.5 grade points on the scale of 10 for SCST category, the candidate must have secured minimum of 55% aggregate score and 6 grade point on the scale of 10. So, they have given all the different uh, like education related criteria that how, how much marks they require as a minimum marks if you want to come and if you want to apply for this post, all right. Desirable conditions are what? That preference will be given to the candidate working experience rela uh, relevant to the project. So, if you have some working, uh, if you have worked in a similar kind of work. Now, to be very frank, this work is also based upon bio organic or something related to the bio field. So, if you have worked in something related to that, in that case, you will be given more preference over the other candidates. Candidate with expertise in the following are strongly encouraged to apply. So, these three uh, things, if you if you have these three things, then you should definitely apply for this. Okay? The first thing is that you should have knowledge of nanomaterial synthesis and characterization. You should have worked on nanomaterials, their synthesis and their characterization. The second thing is expertise in analytical techniques such as NMR, UV visible, fluorescence spectroscopy and basic biochemistry. So, if you know any of these things, NMR, UV visible, any of these things if you know, then also you are eligible for this. And the third one is if you have good communication skill and problem solving capability. So, if you have all these three things, then you should definitely apply for this, all right. Age limit is little higher here from the previous one. It is 35 years for all the candidates and the salary is little lower over here. The previous one was 31,000. Here it is rupees 20,000 per month consolidated, okay. So, that's a consolidated amount. Duration is one year. So, the project will be for one year. In the previous one, they have not discussed about that what will be the time or what will be the tenor of the project, but here they have made it clear that it's just a one year project, okay. So, how to apply? So, if you are interested in this IIT Bilai related post uh, for the project on the basis like the project on uh, glucose responsive DNA hydrogel for insulin delivery. If you are interested in this particular work, uh, then you have to just click on the link which is given in the description which is for the to apply online, okay, like to apply or for the application form of this post. I will give you the link. You just have to directly click over there. You will come up to this particular page. Now, here you can see that uh, the first uh, post which is here is the first uh, in the serial number is for the advertisement of the post of project assistant in the SERP funded research project which I just told you. If you click here, you will be taken to the same page which I have just discussed. You have to click here on the downwards which says application form, okay. So, once you click on this application form, uh, PDF will open, a PDF will get downloaded. This will be the application form. Now, here you have to fill all your details. So, your personal details you have to fill here and you can fill it by your pen or you can just type that down, okay, on the computer itself. I will suggest you to type it and fill it uh, digitally rather than writing down with the paper and pen. Uh, educational details you have to fill here, qualifying examinations that means for CSI net gate, any of the exam which you have qualified about that here, professional details. If you have done any other project or research then you have to apply like you have to fill over here and then at the end you have to uh, like write down all your research publications if you have done award, patents, any of the things which you received and at the end you just have to declare you have to sign and that's all okay so you have to send this application form along with your cv uh, to the email id which is uh, which is shown over here okay so you have to send your application form filled application form plus your cv to this particular email id before uh, 21st of uh, like yeah that's the last date right so 21st of june 2021 so before that you have to fill this and then your application will be accepted or that will be considered for the further thing, right. Due date is that the application should reach uh, Dr. Suchetan Pal by Monday 21st of June 2021 before 5 p.m. Okay, So, that sh that's the last date of it. Condition is that that the interview will be held online. Okay, So, that's fine. You don't have to worry about TA or DA. That will be done online. Okay, Interview is done online. The second thing is that the PI shall not be responsible for postal courier delay. That means uh, whatever your email or other things are getting delayed, the PI is not responsible for that. You are only responsible for it. So, make sure you are applying or your, your application reaches to that person on time. 
and it says that the document at the specified time if it is not re uh, received at the specified time then the disqualification or rejection can be done uh, like that depends upon the pi itself the decision for the selection committee will be final all right the next point is that if the number of shortlisted candidate called for interview is large the selection committee may decide to restrict the number of candidate for interview to a reasonable limit with the with considering the qualification and experience over and above the minimum prescribed in the advertisement now you can understand that if the number of application are more here then obviously the one who is having who is following the conditions which are given in this particular advertisement if the person fulfills that conditions then he will or she will be given more priority over the others who does not fulfill those criteria okay next point says that the appointment of the candidate will be governed by the terms and condition of the institute slash funding agency particularly applicable to the said project as when required all right so or everything like when you are going to start the project when it is going to end everything will be dependent on the institute and the funding agency which is served in this case the selected candidate will have to join duty immediately on the receipt of the offer so once you get selected you have to join after that you cannot delay for that okay that is one thing which they want the fellowship may be terminated with a 30 day notice before completion of the tenure if the performance till date is not uh, deemed satisfactory now this is something which is after your selection so let's say after the selection you are not working fine or the professor is not impressed with your work then he or he is going to give you a 30 day notice that improve yourself if you are not improving yourself within that particular time then he can terminate that project as well although it does not happens in a like it happens in very rare cases but still that's something which they have mentioned as a terms and conditions so, so you have to take care of that so this was all about this particular post i hope that these two posts or whatever i have discussed about in this video you guys understood if you have any doubt regarding the post you can either contact to the email id which are provided that will be much better if you if you contact them if you have any other related issues you can draw like you can just write it down in the comment sections below and yeah uh, if you are interested in any of these posts i will highly recommend you that you should apply and you should take the benefit of this project all right so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it and i hope this video is going to help you to get a project uh, for your research work and that's all from my side thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye